the Aztec calendar and how to read it. This is how you normally see the calendar. Most of the times you don't see these uh, features here. This is the center of the calendar. If you noticed, all I've done is fold it in half. If you kind of look now, do you see half the skull? Well, let me show you here. Do you see that skull? And the cone is pointed down. Well, oddly enough, the transverse. And notice the little circles, the little details. You know, this 300 page book with every page open on it, these indica indicators here, form new pages. That image. That image. What I've discovered is that, well, several of these images come right together and form new images. Okay. You see the skull? And I like the shoulder pads and the. But if you notice from the tip. To the tail, that image is actually seamed right there, and it's actually two of the same images. Here's a higher detailed picture, higher resolution, and as you can see, um, normally I show this to people, and oh, yeah, they've seen it. Not this one. Here's some close ups so you can tell the uh, detail. There's the skull. See the small feature there? And how everything lines up the half ear. The whole length. Here's another one. And if you notice, all these little features line up very clearly, very concisely. This is my uh, my favorite. Anyway, if you can imagine, see the two nostrils and the big jaw, and the snake is coming right at you. Okay, well, watch it go away. Because now there's the eye, the jaw, the teeth, and it's going this way. Eye, jaw, teeth. So this image is in fact made out of three images. Way more than that, but I always like to start with this little guy right here. And that little guy miraculously becomes a snake. And you see these dots that are actually all over the calendar? Well, those two dots aren't there. Okay, and see the snake. Okay, now that is from that side, no digital manipulation here. Do you see this uh, perfect mirror image? Beautiful mirror image with the two birds. Oddly enough, that is not a mirror image. This part of the image is four and a half, five, six feet away on this side of the calendar. Okay, and the same thing applies over here. Perfect mirror image. Now I don't speak Natali, but I'm sure these images are showing something new. All the way right out to uh, this little guy right here. That those, that little half image right there, those little dots, line up. And that picture 
not manipulated from over here. Now, this is the center of the disc, and one thing I've learned without all the pictures on it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it in one more notch. There's your six point. Isn't that beautiful? Five. Four. Three. Think of the Aztec God Cuddle Cube. Oh, well, wait a minute. Did we notice the uh, Cyclops eye? Nice little alien head. Oh, this is male, right down to the peni. Anyway, uh, how come at the Museum of Anthropology the statue is 18 feet tall and it looks like that? Now, oddly enough, you can look every scale along here lines up and before we uh before we go just denouncing me right out of the out of the gate how about this picture here your basic mesoamerican uh image nice little guy you've got your rabbit and everything uh, but uh, isn't it quite clear that if you just take that negative out that that image is indeed uh, supposed to be lined up. Uh, such is such. And one more time, Codal cue. And uh, I wish I could zoom in. I'll show you all the way up here. Look at that whole image. Uh, every bit of it lines up. If you look at it again, all I've done is taken that negative out, that negative space, right there. Um, the only reference I've ever found to this is the first book ever written on cryptology by Timethrius. Tim ah, 1500 is the first book ever written on cryptology. Now, do we see this uh, beautiful, beautiful? Oh, it's right there. Is that very clear to you? Let's see if I can throw some light on the subject. Every, uh, every bit of this calligraphy and that cross, every line of that, and I really kind of wish I could read Farsi. Okay, well, Pretty sure that's what it is for us. Um, because that is two halves of the calligraphy of this doorway lining up. Well, first off, I'd like to thank Eric von Doniken. I read your book when I was 12. And how do you say? I bought it. It wasn't a question to me. I've spent the rest of my life. Uh, debating, reading, studying, learning, relearning what our ancients, uh, our ancients taught us. So, Eric Von Doniken, thank you. From anybody from Prometheus, Whitney has my, has my contact information. And as far as all that goes, not all. This is uh, a condensed version of my research. All of this is my proprietary research. I have a whole section on Navajo sand paintings. 
fractal based visual math. Um, I have a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of beautiful things I'd like to share with the world. It's uh, just been all my research at this point in time. How do you go from one to the other? Well, I, I don't, don't rightly know. Um, that I know that this is correct. That the oneness of all religions means something. That this sand painting is, well, it's kind of what started it all. Actually started it all was uh, that same sand painting, but when I found it, it was in Corel Draw 9's clip art folder for religious symbols. Okay. All I can ask anyone is... Uh, to believe. It's not a hard thing to do. Anyway, thank you. I'll be posting more.